Well, Term 1 is now full steam ahead and lots has happened already. Before the girls arrived back in February, we welcomed a team of 20 instructors from the Positive Psychology Centre at the University of Pennsylvania. They delivered their highly acclaimed, evidence-based Penn Positive Psychology for Educators course to 50 of our staff, as well as 50 staff from other schools and universities. This training will enable us to take our positive psychology programs to a new level. And Mrs. Rennie and I have just returned from New York, where we attended the National Coalition of Girls' Schools Global Forum on Girls' Education and delivered a paper outlining the work we do in academic care time to build well-being and resilience in our girls. On the flight back from New York, I watched a fascinating documentary on the renowned Dunedin Longitudinal Study, which is following the lives of 1,037 people born between 1972 and 1973 in Dunedin in New Zealand. It has produced a wealth of information on human health and development. One of the key questions the study addressed was, what makes people successful? Well, they found that the most powerful predictor of income and success was self-control. And the levels of self-control they measured in their subjects as four-year-olds accurately predicted their income and job status 40 years later. The study noted that in every measure of success, self-control made a huge difference. The study also found that self-control can be improved and all children benefited from learning the skills. The findings, of course, reinforce the work we do with girls in academic care that stresses the importance of self-control, grit and perseverance to success in life. It seems that one of the greatest gifts a parent can give their child is the ability to constrain their impulses for longer-term goals. To teach them that if it's worth having, it's worth waiting for.